ahead of more great music. The weather for St David's and Mount Thomas, generally fine and warm throughout the day. We're looking for a high today of 35 degrees. Currently it's a very pleasant 29. A beautiful day for boating at Lake Widgery, whatever you like to do. And now more hits from yesterday, today and tomorrow on the voice of the Golden West 3SD. Figure our specs, did we? No blokes at all. Come back tomorrow. Well, what about this one? Them. Apparently it's against their religion to take their clothes off in front of mixed company. So now they get the pull to themselves for one whole morning a week. That's discrimination. We let them come here. Next thing you know, they're setting up terrorist nests. Probably plotting a suicide bomb right now. Well, it wouldn't go that far. Sophisticated for you, sir. Come oh. on, Jones. You look, Vinnie Page is right. You've got every right to use a book. Stay away from my wife. Stay away. You said, please do it. Tony Timothy, bloody idiot. I want both of them charged. Both look, of them. No, I'm not even on duty, Denise, and this is really you, a council. You've got to take this seriously. Oh, calm down, calm down. Chuck us bears, all right. Oh, the cavalry's arrived. Beautiful. What are you guys doing here? We've got a call about a bomb. A bomb? Fossil, boss. Oh. Listen, now that you guys are here, how about a photograph? Let's not waste the opportunity. Come on. Oh, One shot. The sun's shining. Come on. Come on in front of the police car. Whatever happened to democracy? I mean, freedom. Right now, it's the Muslims who want exclusive use of that pool, but I'm telling you, before you know it, there'll be bloody... The Buddhists will want it. I mean, there must be at least half a dozen of them in Mount Thomas. You're supposed to be reporting the news, <laughs> not making it. Call me a proactive journalist. I'd like to call you a lot of things, but right now, I'll settle with charging. Charging me with what? Trespass, violating a council bylaw. Oh. You never said anything about charges. No, don't worry, Vinny. No copper with half a brain's on a charge of journal. Let's discuss that in my office, shall we? <laughs> with pleasure. Just remember what counts, Vinny. In. Liberty, Just sit down and shut up. This segregated swing thing is a hot topic out there, Tom. People are really getting worried. And if you can't see that, you're just fooling yourself. There's only one fool around here, as far as I can see. Tom, if Denise Gomez wins that election next week, there's going to be a lot more of this sort of thing. Who sits on council is not my concern. My job is to uphold the law. Hey, it's your friend's neck on the line, isn't it? If Chris Riley isn't careful, she's going to lose that Muslim, Sheila. You're going to lose quite a bit yourself. I'm issuing you with a penalty notice. Oh, what? And if you ever pull a stunt like that again, I'll do you like a dinner. Listen, you couldn't do us a favour, could you? Just give us, like, half an hour to range a photographer. What? May as well have a decent photograph to go with the article. Local journo cops pool penalty. You know? Tony, get out. I like swimming. All right, the only time I can go is early in the morning. Seven mornings in a week, Vinny. Well, Wednesday suits me. And when Tony said someone had to make a yeah, stand... Tony I... used you for his scoop, Vinny. Hey, 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 mate, no-one uses me, all right? You nearly finished with him? Yeah, I think so. Good, because Chris would like her turn now. Two dozen T-bones, ten kilos of marinated chicken wings ready and waiting. And where's my chef getting done for exposing himself? I wasn't exposing myself. Oh, pretty close to it. Where would you get those togs off your sister's Kendall? Hey, I heard you let Tony Tim's off. Uh, I didn't exactly let him off. He will be fine. Fine? Oh, great. That'll stop him making more trouble. Vinny won't be causing you any more trouble, I can guarantee that. You? You're the one who put him up to it. Me? Ladies, please. Oh, come on, it's obvious. Vinny works for her. And we all know whose bar Tony prefers to prop up. I didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, come on. It's your dirty campaign tricks. I must have you pretty worried, Chris Riley. All right, that's it. That's slander. I want charges laid. Yeah, I want charges well, enough, laid. Enough, enough, both of you. I think perhaps we'd all better discuss this in my office. Do you have any idea how important those swimming sessions are to those women? 
It's the only time a lot of them get out to socialise. Well, I'm sure Chris realises that. It was her vote that got it through council in the first place. Yeah, on a three-month trial. Yeah, and if I'd known how much trouble even that was going to be, maybe I would have thought twice. Oh, take the path of least resistance. That'd be right. Why don't you try and a discuss this A good counsellor does what's best for the majority. A good counsellor doesn't have their foot in both camps, which is something you promised never to do before the power went to your head. Look who's talking. The minute there's a hole in the footpath, you start running for oh, council. What about the state of the public toilets, Chris? Or the fact there's no parking at the school? All Look, these things I'm you said aware gonna... this is a very competitive campaign. There's for both nothing of you, competitive but about it. I'm going to win the landslide. I'm going to murder Vinny. Well, that obviously went well. Swimmingly. This thing with the pools, a hot potato, it was bound to blow up in Chrissy's face. Oh, well, the Muslim women have got as much right as anyone to go for a dip. Yeah, but that sign at the pool didn't say you had to be a Muslim woman. It just said you had to be a woman. Now, that's gender discrimination. No one thinks twice about the gym running women's only aerobic sessions. I mean, what's the problem? That's right. This is a race issue, pure and simple. Could be. That was the pool. They've just been graffitied. Things are pretty bad when people start spouting this crap. You don't want them in the pool either. Yeah, but I'm not a racist. It was my morning off. I just wanted to swim. During the only three hours in the week when those women came? It's a public pool. I'm trying to help you like win this election. Huh? All oh, right, I will really definitely consider giving the women's only you sessions my full endorsement. Seriously, take me off this offer. Boy. Don't start that again. So what offer is that? OK, get this. Compare the candidates. It's Chris and Denise in an open debate. A two-page spread in the paper with pictures. It sounds good. People can hear both sides. Not if he's reporting it. Excuse me, I will print every um and every R in ten-point times Roman. Well, it couldn't hurt. I mean, you have been losing a bit of ground lately, Chris. I've got a pub to run. All right, all right, OK. So have it here, then. Get Vinny to cook up something special. All right, all right. I suppose your entertainment allows are just about cover it. What? It's just that. Do a very bad thing, okay? Only Maharim may see woman's body. We understand that what Mr. Morelli did this morning was disrespectful, but it's not up to you to teach him a lesson. The swimming. It was a big mistake, okay? But my wife, she wants to go. And look what happened. Mr. Zabir, as I'm asking the questions, I'd appreciate it if you direct your answers to me. I just want this Vinny to know that what he do is bad, okay? I, I mean no harm. Oh. So you're going to tickle him with that make No, I, I try to protect myself. He tried to hit me with, uh, uh, how you say it, uh, a tangera. Fry pan. Huh? Fry pan. Uh, yes, fry pan. Just tell us what happened, Vinny. All right, he burst in through the back door, went straight for the chopping block. He was all set to bury that meat cleaver in my skull. He says he was defending himself. <laughs> of course he did. What else are you going to expect from a bloke who probably sold used camels back in the old country? Well, bang a couple of hotheads together and you're bound to get a few sparks. Are we safe to let this pair off with a warning? Well, Vinny, yeah. He's in deeper than he's happy about. What about the other bloke? Yusuf Zabir. I wouldn't put it past him to have another go, boss. I reckon we should have a chat to his wife. See if he's ever threatened her with a meat cleaver. We haven't locked him up, Mrs Zabir. We just had a few questions. Then you ask him. No, ask me. We just want to make sure there isn't any more trouble. I tell you already. He's a good man. Has he, has he ever been violent? No. Who said this? Dennis? No, nobody said it anything. It is a lie. Dennis wants me to swim. Yusuf, he get very angry. He say no more. No men must see. It is Wajib too far. Get in the car. Is he crying what? He make me crazy. You taking him to see a doctor? Yusuf say he just need more milk. To fall. I have a contact here for a mother's group. It might be helpful. Please, you must go now. The baby, he must be fed. Right. Thanks for your time. Shh. Shh. She's obviously scared of her husband. Yeah, but I don't think he'd harm her. 
I mean, mind you, I wouldn't put it past her to get violent herself the way she was handling that baby. You don't think she's harming the child? No, she just didn't seem to be coping all that well, boss. Well, how well would anyone cope? A new baby, a new country? Oh, there is support available. Yeah, I gave her the name of a mother's group, but she didn't seem keen. And you've done everything you can. Now, I'd like those two hotheads out of my station. Just keep him out of my kitchen, all right? Next time I might have the electric carving knife in my hand. There'd better not be a next time, and if there is, it'd better not be anything more lethal than an electric toothbrush. Same goes for you. Sign there, thanks, mate. Allah would be on my side. Oh, I wouldn't bet on that if I were you. You're right. Have a good day. Imagine being seen but not heard. Yeah, imagine. You don't get any ideas, pal. Yusuf Sabir is not a particularly shiny example of his culture or his religion. Denise Gourmez knows his wife, doesn't she? Maybe she could do something. Well, if he is that domineering, I'd be surprised if he'd tolerate her being friends with Denise when her husband doesn't exactly keep her muzzled. She would only chew through it. Hey, speaking of chewing, who's going to the pub tonight to uh, listen to their little public debate? Oh, no, no, no. You've got stuff to do at home. Like what? Well, you've got to fetch my slippers, light my pipe, massage my back, all the usual uh -huh. stuff. It's a tough act. Running a pub on your own and doing a bit for counsel. Anyone be feeling the strain? It's called stamina, Denise. Something you wouldn't know about working school teachers' hours. It's because I'm a school teacher. I've got such a What are you doing here? Olivia. But I don't. What are you doing here? Community. I'm You're hungry. I didn't feel like eating at home. Okay. Let's just uh, be specific here about some issues, OK? Such as? Well, like the pool. Off topic. How come? I think Tony's had more than enough mileage out of that for one day. Thank you, Vinny. Well, I'm certainly prepared to talk about the pool issue. Well, good for you. Let me just check, get a new hey, time. Um, what did you just serve in? Brim seed with herbs and garlic. Is that on the menu? No, no, no. I made a special. These Muslims, you know, they've got weird ideas about food. I figured fish would be <laughs> safe. <laughs> Sam, call an ambulance. Tony, I told you to stay away. Hey, I was paying for that bloody meal. Listen, if Chris is that desperate, she's going to start using a rat poison. I want a bloody exclusive, OK? Here we go. Uh, Susie, Dr Gilmez is Denise's husband. How's she doing? <sighs> Much better. I was fortunate I was on duty. I knew immediately what had caused this reaction. What reaction as in allergy? Yes. Denise is highly allergic to peanuts. Peanuts? Yeah, but we were eating fish. There's no mistake. She ate peanuts. She wishes to make a statement now. Right. Tony, sit, stay. No news hounds allowed. Did you taste peanuts? No, of course not. Chris got that cook of hers to disguise her somehow. Well, Chris couldn't have known that you were allergic to these. Oh, she knew all right. How? Last Thursday, we were guest speakers at that CWA lunch. It was Indonesian theme. They had peanut satay by the bucket load. They had to send out for... Who was in pita bread? This was no accident. No, not a chance. Well, the good news is she's going to be fine. What's the bad news? We need to talk. In private? Oh, hello, PJ's all right. Now, it's getting serious. What on earth's going on? Kitchen. Denny's in there. Good, we need to talk to him as well. Oh, the mind boggles. Uh, don't you guys think you should keep me in the loop on this? Sam, get Mr Tim's a whiskey on the house bottle on that time. Well, thank you, Chris. Ah, ah, ah. Top shelf, please, top shelf. Of course I knew. I told Vinny not to use peanuts. Uh, hey, you never said anything about an allergy. I just thought you meant it was unclean. Vinny, that's pork. Oh, pork, peanuts. Mate, I'm a good Catholic boy. So what did you cook? Brim with garlic and herbs. Ah, and it was going to be followed by a beautiful lemon meringue pie. Hey! Bloody dish pig. Can't wait for the leftovers. Right, so how did you cook it, Vinny? Um, clove of garlic, some herbs, tarragon and parsley. Finely chopped, seared in a really hot pan. That sounds really nice. But what sort of oil did you use? Canola. Yeah, check it yourself. You know, I think I'll use a bit of dill next time. It goes really well with a fennel. It's peanut oil. What? Speaking of dills... No, 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 no. It can't be. I filled it myself. When was that? This afternoon. We buy it in bulk. I have to decant it. Right, so sometime this afternoon, the canola oil miraculously turned into peanut oil. <laughs> Must have. Well, didn't you notice this when you were cooking the fish? No, I didn't. All right, Penny, let's go through the facts, shall we? Number one, 
Chris told you that Denise couldn't handle peanuts. Now, you were smart enough to understand why. Number two, you were the only one in the kitchen. And number three, you have motive. Now, if Denise wins this election, you can kiss your Wednesday morning swimming sessions goodbye. Mate, you are totally twisted. I'm totally twisted. You're the cross-dresser who crashes pool parties. PJ, you're talking attempt at political assassination. Vinny is Italian. Even the Godfather had to start somewhere. Uh-oh, Big E is on the move. It's Sam, get Mr Tim's a refill. Now, about Vinny, there's no way. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot of respect for Muslims. He made some extremely racist remarks about Yusuf Sabir. Only after he went at him with a meat cleaver. Chrissy, look what I found. Peanut oil. Vinny would never use that. It's cheap and nasty. But why pay top dollar when you can poison someone for half the price? Paper with your breakfast, sir? Hey, Jonesy, I know you're a keen swimmer, but next time, you better take your dax off first, mate. Very funny. Has Chris seen that? I don't know, didn't see it this morning. What about the boss? Yeah, no, I hid it in the station recovered when he came in. Well, that's not the only bad news. Apparently there's a rabid nut nobbler on the loose, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, fortunately station. that yeah. didn't make it to press. Yeah, it wasn't like Tony to miss a scoop like that, is it? Well, after all that whiskey, I'm surprised if you could find the on button on his laptop. But, so it might be a while before the boss finds out. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Chris is on the phone to him right now. Wait for it. Jones! It's not enough that he makes the police look like fools. I can hardly wait for tomorrow's edition after this business with Denise Gourmet. Well, he can say what he likes. By then we'll have laid charges. Against whom? Vinny Morelli? Well, once the fingerprint results come back, sure. He's our best bet. Oh, it could have been anybody. The barman, the kitchen hand. You could scarcely call either of them passionate political animals. What, Vinny is? Besides, they didn't start work until six, and Vinny was in the kitchen. He had opportunity. <clears throat> there is one other possibility. You're not going to like it. I'm sure I'm not, but anything's better than Vinny Morelli. Chris. Oh. Knowledge, opportunity and motive. She's probably got a better reason than anyone to want Denise out the way. Raina. I told you you wouldn't like it. Uh, Dr Gulmes is here. He wants to make a complaint against Chris. Osama says vote one for Denise Gulmes. Are you willing to stand by as the council bans the eating of pork? This is garbage. I found it stuck to the door of my surgery when I arrived this morning. Did you see who did it? No. It forces our children to pray up to five times a day at school. I mean, who wrote this rubbish? I think it's obvious. You must deal with Ms Riley. Dr Gomez, I've known Chris Riley since she was a little girl and she would not do... Power, it changes people, Tom. And politics is about power. This is racial vilification. You must investigate. All right, I'll talk to the council and make a few inquiries. I hope you'll do more than that. I'm very concerned for my wife. And this woman will clearly stop at nothing. This is getting out of hand. It doesn't get more ludicrous than this. Raina, come with me. Bring that with you. You're like a politician born and bred. I mean, never say yes or no and a maybe will suffice. Tony, if you're not out of here in five seconds, Pat, I'm going to shove these where the sun does Chris, shine. I'm trying Four, to do you a favour. Three, two, just, just think one. about it. What do you want? Think about what? Well, he wants me to veto the women's only sessions when the trial's up. Ah. So have you seen any of these around? It's this garbage. This garbage could win you back a few votes. Nobody with half a brain is going to take you seriously. Unfortunately, the Gulmezes are taking it very seriously. That's why we're here. I surely don't think I had anything to do with this. Well, from well, where they're standing, it looks like a very strong possibility. And what about from where you lot are standing? I just need to eliminate you from our inquiries, that's all. Then consider me eliminated, which is more than I can say for Denise Gulmez. Denise? Who stands to gain the most by making me look bad? I mean, first she does a dying duck bizzo in my dining room, and now this. You ever heard of the sympathy vote? Are we really taking Chris's theory seriously? The only thing I'm not taking seriously is that Chris would stoop this low. Sorry to interrupt. We need a word. I go. Amina. <sighs> Mrs. Zabir seems to be having a rough time. Yeah. Full on postnatal depression, Mimic reckons. You're going home? Yeah, if the visitors never stop coming. You've seen this, I believe. Pathetic, isn't it? She's desperate. Chris Riley denies any involvement. Oh, she would, wouldn't she? <laughs> Two weeks from election. Well, it's been suggested that maybe you printed these yourself. By whom? Chris. Who else? 
I suppose she's running around saying I poisoned myself on peanuts as well. Denise, there is no evidence to suggest that Chris is involved in either of So it's her word against mine, is that right? It's our job to explore every possibility. Oh, except the most obvious one. Oh, sorry, that would be a bit inconvenient, wouldn't it? Considering you guys like to drink in her pub. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Thanks for your time. What did you say to him? Who? The mayor. Come on, no one else would have the gall. Chris, I really don't know what you're talking about. He just rang me. He wants to hold an extraordinary meeting of the council tonight to censure me. So? He had a complaint about my so-called attempts to intimidate the opposition. He didn't say who it was from, but... But naturally you assumed it was me. You've been looking for a fight for a while. Hey, the only fight I'm interested in is a fair one. Which is more than I can say for you. If I hadn't been bending over backwards to be fair about this pool issue, I'd have this election in the bag. Wake up, Chris. The people want someone who'll make a tough decision. In the end, that's all they respect. You want a tough decision? Fine. When the pool trial is over, I'll be voting against making the women's only sessions permanent. And if you lot have a problem with that, you can just build your own pool. So Councillor Riley has apparently changed her mind and now says she opposes the women's only swimming trials. What are we to believe? It's just what Chris's image needs. Public spat with the opposition. Funnily enough, I think it might have done her image some good. At the expense of her conscience. How did you go? You tried every printer in town, no one knows anything about the paper. Oh, they're not saying. I want whoever's responsible for this found as soon as possible and a lid put on it once and for all. G'day, g'day. Oh. Now, I believe a couple of you witnessed the clash of the Titans on the West Wing. Oh, there's no flies on you, mate. Well, you care to make a statement then? Wouldn't you prefer to invent one? Never let it be said I don't try. Uh, and succeed, as today's incident kind of proves. Did you try the newspaper printing office? No, why? Tony, before you go... Theoretically speaking, suppose I was responsible. It's not illegal to have an opinion. Racial vilification's illegal, Tony. Yeah. That wouldn't be a matter for you coppers, would it? I imagine the Equal Opportunities Commission would be very interested, not to mention the AJA. Of course, Denise might want to mount a civil case against Chris. And if we coppers were to find out you were responsible, we'd be duty-bound to say so. Hmm. The Gourmet's family would have you on toast. Way for thin slices. Then there's the matter of someone attempting to poison Denise last night. What? You didn't figure that out? Nobody was telling me anything, remember? Well, now you know. You can see how we might make the connection. I was not responsible for that, Tom. All that. You've got nothing to worry about, then. Theoretically speaking. <sighs> I've seen less guilt on a gold-plated statue. The pamphlets, I can believe, but... Uh... Trying to put Denise out of action like that, I don't know. Well, he'd need inside help, at least. Yeah, if sure Tony comes in here, it's not like I can join him out there for beer and pretzels, is it? Well, when was he here last? I don't know, a couple of nights ago. Pass us a whisk, will you? The night before your little pool party? The whisk? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're talking, uh, we're talking tactics. He didn't happen to pop in last night before the dinner with Chris and Denise, did he? Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, he did. Trying to do, make them laugh. Whisk. It's quite handy in the kitchen, actually, Tony. He uh, offered to uh, offer me a bit of help. Let's consider it. Yeah, well, actually, what I needed was a slash, and they chopped the herbs with the fish while I was gone. It's very considerate. Hey, hey, hey! I said whisk, whisk, whisk. Not beat him to a pulp. Whisk. Yeah, okay. I admit it. I had an ulterior motive for getting. Vinny out of the kitchen. Yes, I know. A spot of monkey business with a bottle of peanut oil. No, no. I, I didn't know that Denise had an allergic reaction to peanuts. The truth is... Well, you know me. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. And, and, and dinner was a way off, and... Vinny makes those fantastic lemon meringue pies, and... I just couldn't help myself, OK? You're joking. It's the truth. OK? So I'm off the hook, right? Not for the pamphlets. We've been having a chat with the young apprentice from the Gazette printers. He told us you did a deal with him for 2000 I slipped him 50 bucks to keep his bloody mouth shut. God, you're an idiot. I swear, Tom, I was trying to do Chris a favour. Tony, 
Tony Timms. He said he was trying to help you. Stage managing your career, more like it. Well, let me return the favour, public and murders journo. Does Denise know? She's our next port of call. Tell her she owes me an apology. You don't think you owe her one as well? And not to mention all the women who use the pool every Wednesday morning. She wanted a hard decision, I gave her one. Well, as long as you made it for the right reason. I just had a call from Yusuf Sabir. His baby's been abducted. Sabir, isn't that the bloke that went at Vinnie with the meat cleaver? Yep. Can you tell us what happened? Please, I know this is difficult, but we really need to establish hey, some facts. Hey, hey, what is to tell? Okay, she, she put the baby to sleep. Uh, she hear noise, uh, she come to see, the window is open and the baby is gone. Can you tell us what time this happened? It would be really useful if you could remember what time you heard that noise. Listen, listen, she is not sure, okay? It can't have been that long ago. I mean, it's, it's just gone one o'clock now and you were at the hospital this morning with Tafail. Hospital? Amina, I tell you to fail, my bad do haki. Ah, we should be smiling. Hey, hey, Amina, Amina, I tell him my soul, you leave. The nursery? Yep. And the only way the intruder could have gotten in or out, everything else was deadlocked. That's good security. There's no sign of footprints, not even a bruised petal. If it got through that window, it must have had wings. Yeah, well, maybe it was a tooth fairy. What did the mother have to say? Not a lot. What, language problem? Yeah, when her husband lets her get a word in. You think it was a setter? Well, what do you think? I think her abduction theory is just flying out the window. I think I would harm my own son, hmm? Well, it's an angle we have to consider after what happened at the Imperial. A man can defend himself, yeah? But, but to fail, he, he's just baby. All that crying must get on your nerves sometimes. Hey, this was her idea, huh? Sit Only down. a woman could think of yeah. such an attitude towards Constable Raider will not be tolerated, so sit down! Now, about this so-called abduction, your wife is clearly not telling the truth. And why would she lie? To protect you. <laughs> this is crazy, okay? You are all crazy. What do you do for a living? In my country, I am computer technician. And here? I am laborer. So what were you doing home in the middle of the day then? Amina, she is tired, yeah? Maybe, maybe she can rest for a while if I am there. Was she expecting you? No. I, uh, it was a surprise. Do you love your wife? Love. What is love, hmm? The marriage is arranged, yeah? And maybe love comes, and maybe not. But it does not matter. There is always love for the children. And I could not. I would never. So why would your wife lie? She is not lying. Why would she lie? She has no reason to lie. My wife does not lie. I open the window for fresh air. And... I forget. Uh, Mrs. Zabir, I, I... I don't believe anyone came through that window. Yes. They come. I hear. Well, it only would have taken you a few seconds to get in there and you say that you didn't see anyone. I really don't believe that your baby was abducted. I'm sorry. I think something else has happened. Was she your husband? Did he hurt the baby? No, no, Yusuf, he's a, he's a good father. He's a good man. He's a very angry man. Was the baby crying too much? No. 
No, Yusuf, he loved to fail. I love to fail, but... <laughs> Mrs. Sabir, we want to help you. Somebody take my baby. You must believe. Please believe. I can't believe she'd hurt her own child. Well, she wasn't coping. Anybody could see that. So what did she do with the body? Crime scene and forensic have been all over the house. Well, maybe she got rid of it on the way back from the hospital. Oh, don't. The hubby returns home unexpectedly and she spins in the abduction yard. You'd better talk to her again. Well, what if we're wrong? Right or wrong, she knows where the kid is, I'm sure of it. Yeah, and she's going to give us straight answers, the state she's in. Perhaps Denise Goulmers can help. Denise, I'm sorry uh, about it. Now's really not a good time. It's about Amina Zabia. She believes her baby has been abducted. Abducted? Yeah. We have reason to believe that that's not the case. Uh, what reason? Nothing concrete, but we think she may have harmed a child. What? We can't get through to her, but we thought she might open up to you. Me? Uh, uh, look, no, 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 look, I really can't. Denise, she really needs your help right look, now. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Hi. Good day. Hey. Any news on the Zabir baby? No, no, no. Those poor people. Poor Denise? Yeah, I figured one of us has to be big enough to light the piece five. Good on you. Is she home? Yeah, she's here. I just, she just for a sec. Who are you telling this to? Shh. On the back. Denise, wait up! <laughs> a beer baby. I mean, she asked me to take the baby. Just for a few hours. I mean, she practically begged me. So why didn't you say so? She didn't want Yusuf to find out. And neither did I. I mean, the last thing I need is him coming around here and making trouble again. What do you mean, making trouble again? I mean, it came over a few weeks ago. Mehmet was home and I thought maybe he could give her some advice. And Yusuf came looking for her, and he went off his face. Well, he does have a few control issues, that's for sure. <laughs> he uses religion like a force field. I mean, the only reason why he let Amina come swimming with me was because he couldn't find a good enough reason not to. Till Tony and Vinny did their drag act at the pool yesterday. You know, it was the only time she ever got out of the house. No wonder she was going bananas. It just seems pretty extreme. To ask your friend to babysit and then tell your husband that your kid's been abducted. I make a plan to run away. I'm your husband. I leave the baby with Dennis and I go home to pack. But Yusuf, come. I run into the first room and I open the window. And I told him somebody take the baby. Where were you planning to go? Home. To my mother and father. In Iraq. Without your baby. Oh, too far cry. I think bad thoughts. I was afraid I would hurt him. It's postnatal depression, Mrs. Zabia. Dennis and Mehmet say this too. Mrs. Zabia, did your husband try to stop you having a friendship with Denise? He... he did not want me to go to pool. And then there is trouble. Yusuf say I cannot go anymore. He said Dennis is teaching me bad ways. Please, you must tell yourself Dennis did not know I ran away. Please, I beg of you. Yusuf Zabir, are you sure? Well, it makes sense. Wife getting out of control, he sees Dennis is the cause. 
decides to put her out of the picture. Yeah, he finds out that Denise is having dinner at the Imperial and figures it's a perfect opportunity to get her out of the way. A few too many ifs and buts for my liking. You're going to need a confession, I'm afraid. Oh, we'll get a confession, all right. I think you two should handle this. Rainer's bedside manner seems about to desert. I'm sorry, boss, but just because he thinks women are a lower form of life doesn't mean I should have to Rainer, go in there. this is going to sound very old-fashioned, but this is one of those rare occasions that needs a man's touch. You knew Denise was allergic to peanuts. How could I know this, huh? Wife's best friend. How could you not? She is no friend. For making Vinnie the bunny? For humiliating you at the pool? The icing on the cake? I want Cook blamed for killing Denise. So first I try to kill him, huh? Well, that was just an excuse to check out the kitchen. Then you slip back later and swap the cooking oil for the peanut oil. How can I know what he will cook for dinner? It was written on the whiteboard. <laughs> Do you understand why your wife took your baby over to Denise's house and then told you he'd been abducted? She thinks to fail is sick. And she wants Mehmet Gomez to see him. She's going back to Iraq. Leaving your baby here. Running away. I do not believe you. No. Wow. She's booked on a flight out of here tomorrow. We checked. See? She's got no family. She left them all back home. And you've got a job. She's got nothing. She needs friends. Women like Denise. Denise. Yeah, Denise, she wear the hijab, huh? And she pretend to be good Muslim. But she has forgotten the Quran. She should stay at home and have children. This is her duty. And what about your duty? Do you even love your child? Of course I love him. That is why I come to this country. Well, then who's going to look after Tafail, huh? If you're in jail and she's run away. That's the truth. That's the truth. Make it off on a good behaviour bond. Listen, you came to Australia for a new start. Don't blow it before you even get started. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I do this thing. I change the oil. I think I am doing it for a minute and to fail. But now I see I am wrong. I am very wrong. You free to go, Mr. Sabir? Just keep out of trouble next time, okay? Yes. Thank you. To fair. How do you get it done? Yeah, how do you No mother should leave her child. Do not do this again. No. You must stay. Dillik dallik. Abedi ke kiteje. This is Zabir. We've made arrangements for you and to fail to stay with Denise and Mehmet Gomez for the time being. But my my husband, he would not allow. Your it. husband has agreed. He's also agreed to you getting some medical help. Yusuf, what, what will happen to Yusuf? Denise is not going to press charges. Yusuf has been let off with a warning. Thank you. Th thank you.
Just on my way to council to get my knuckles wrapped. Thought I'd let you have first go. I wouldn't dare. Hey, you'll be right, won't you, now that we know that Tony's responsible for the pamphlets? Tony, I could strangle him. Well, you'd have to get in the queue. No, I'd let you have first go. Mm -hmm. Felt good being cheered at the hospital today. Standing against the swimming trials, very, very popular in some quarters. Yeah, and we live in a democracy, right? Right. Just a pity about this beer woman. She'll be all right. No thanks to me, though. All for a few votes, eh? You'll do the right thing, I'm sure. <laughs> Got a million of them. <laughs> Evening all. Just in time for the next round. Oh, lucky me. G'day, Tom. I want to have a straight whiskey, please. Top shelf, if you don't mind. You'll be lucky. Come on, it's the least you can do, considering tomorrow's front page. Might just have the headline, local prominent journalist had up on false arrests. It's much more likely to say local <clears throat> journalist facing civil court proceedings. Wow. At least he's going to press charges. Oh, well, that depends who wins the election. If it's her, she might be generous. If it's Chris, watch out, Tony. Well, unfortunately, Susie, that's no longer an issue because guess what? Denise has decided to dip out. Ta-da! Hold the front page. There's a press release. Look at that. And of course, that means that Chris now has the field entirely to herself. Due in noticeable part to uh, her friends in the local press. I think that's probably just earned me free drinks in this pub until the day that I die. The only thing free you're likely to get around here, Tony Timms, is a boot up the backside. I barred you for six months, remember? Come on, Chris. It was for your own good. I made you lift your game, didn't I? And I got you to change your stand on the pool issue. Yeah, well, guess what? I've changed it back again. Just made the big announcement after the council meeting. Pity you didn't bother turning up. Well, you can't do that. That's, that's political suicide. I don't know. I think my new campaign manager might keep me on the straight and narrow. Look, here she is now. Oh, hey, we agreed hey. on so many issues, we decided campaigning against each other was a waste of good energy. <laughs> hey, Sam, get me a couple of bottles of the best bubbly and uh, nine glasses. Yeah, get on you, Sam. Thank you very much, Chris. Very kind of you. Sam, make that, eh? Come on, Tony. Six months. <laughs> Bard. That means Bard? you're not here for six months. Congratulations. Ahead of more great music, the weather for St David's and Mount Thomas, generally fine and warm throughout the day. We're looking for a high today of 35 degrees. Currently it's a very pleasant 29. A beautiful day for boating at Lake Widgery, whatever you like to do. And now more hits from yesterday, today and tomorrow on the voice of the Golden West 3SD. Forget our specs, did we? No blokes at all. Come back tomorrow. Well, what about this one? Ben. Apparently it's against their religion to take their clothes off in front of mixed company. So now they get the pool to themselves for one whole morning a week. That's discrimination. We let them come here. Next thing you know, they're setting up terrorist nests. Probably plotting a suicide bomb right now. Well, it wouldn't go that far. Sophisticated for you, sir. Come right. on, Jones. You know, look, Vinnie Page is right. You've got right to use a bill. Stay away from my wife. Stay away. You said, please do it. Tony Timms, you bloody idiot. I want both of them charged. Oh, both look, of them. No, I'm not even on duty, Denise, and this is really you, a council You've got to take this seriously. Oh, calm down, calm down. Chuck us bears, all right. Oh, the cavalry's arrived. Beautiful. What are you guys doing here? We've got a call about a bomb. A bomb? Fossil, boss. Oh. Listen, now that you guys are here, how about a photograph? Let's not waste the opportunity. Come on. Oh, One shot. The sun's shining. Come on. Come on in front of the police car. Whatever happened to democracy? I mean, freedom. 
right now to the Muslims who want exclusive use of that pool, but I'm telling you, before you know it, there'll be bloody... The Buddhists will want it. I mean, there must be at least half a dozen of them in Mount Thomas. You're supposed to be reporting the news, <laughs> not making it. Call me a proactive journalist. I'd like to call you a lot of things, but right now I'll settle with charging. Charging me with what? Trespass, violating a council bylaw. Oh. You never said anything about charges. No, don't worry, Vinny. No copper with half a brain's on a charge of journo. Let's discuss that in my office, shall we? <laughs> with pleasure. Just remember what counts, Vinny. In. Liberty, Justice. sit down and shut up. This segregated swing thing is a hot topic out there, Tom. People are really getting worried. And if you can't see that, you're just fooling yourself. There's only one fool around here, as far as I can see. Tom, if Denise Gomez wins that election next week, there's going to be a lot more of this sort of thing. Who sits on council is not my concern. My job is to uphold the law. Hey, it's your friend's neck on the line, isn't it? If Chris Riley isn't careful, she's going to lose that Muslim, Sheila. You're going to lose quite a bit yourself. I'm issuing you with a penalty notice. Oh, what? And if you ever pull a stunt like that again, I'll do you like a dinner. Listen, you couldn't do us a favour, could you? Just give us, like, half an hour to arrange a photographer. What? May as well have a decent photograph to go with the article. Local journo cops pool penalty. You know? Tony, get out. I like swimming. All right, the only time I can go is early in the morning. Seven mornings in a week, Vinny. Well, Wednesday suits me. And when Tony said someone had to make well, a Tony stand, I... used your furry scoop, Vinny. Hey, 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 mate, no one uses me, all right? You nearly finished with him? Yeah, I think so. Good, because Chris would like her turn now. Two dozen T-bones, ten kilos of marinated chicken wings ready and waiting, and where's my chef getting done for exposing himself? I wasn't exposing myself. Oh, pretty close to it. Where'd you get those togs off your sister's Kendall? Hey, I heard you let Tony Timms off. I uh, didn't exactly let...